Sometimes you might need a little inspiration to get going. Copilot Workspace can help you get your creative process started by building from another repository as a template. It starts in a repository by outlining the task that you want Copilot Workspace to achieve. And from there, it will convert that task into a specification with a current state and a proposed state. Now, before we make any changes, let's open up the live preview so we can see our progress. And finally, put it all side by side so we can stay in the flow and keep iterating. Now we can move from the specification to the plan and review the steps that Copilot Workspace will take to achieve our desired task. After we've progressed through these stages, the suggestions are streamed to my environment. These changes introduce new dependencies which aren't installed. So let's fix that by opening the terminal, stopping the app, and running npm install to get the latest packages. Ah, that looks better. But I want to customize it a little more. So this is where I start iterating with Copilot Workspace. Let's add a couple of buttons to easily mark all tasks completed and delete the completed tasks. That's done, and let's just test that out. It looks good. But what if I wanted to go back to an earlier state? I can click Undo to go back, and notice how the live app view updates as well as the items in my plan. I can then click Redo to move forwards to where I was originally. We can also switch over and update the code directly in our code space. Let's make several changes, including the background, alignment of all elements, tidy up the styling on the task list, and the input form. Notice that the live view on the right updates as we make changes. They even sync back into Copilot Workspace. Now I'm no designer, so that could be a future opportunity to collaborate with my colleagues in a pull request and improve the UI. Speaking of collaboration, now that we have a scaffold for our to-do app, we can use the share button to let others know what we've been working on. Okay, let's now go and create the repository. The template repository had a GitHub Actions YAML file, which means our first build and deployment to production have already kicked off. Let's click the link and check it out. We've been able to stay in the flow and iteratively solve our tasks thanks to Copilot Workspace.